Hey guys, today I'm filming my Project Use It Up 2016 slash Project 50 Pan update. I have quite a few awesome products that I have been able to finish up within the months of June and July. I'm really excited to share my progress with you guys. If you all have not seen my intro or my other updates, I'll have my playlist linked up here so you can see all the other items I finished so far this year. A ton of my friends are doing this challenge as well. I will have all their videos linked down below. Please, please, please make sure you go check them out and subscribe to their channels. Starting with my Project Use It Up items within the past two months, I was able to finish up four products, which is pretty exciting. My first item is the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Fair. Like I mentioned in my last update, I had purchased new packaging for this. This is just an empty lip gloss wand I ordered off of eBay. It made the product so much easier to apply and to get through. I know a lot of people really love this concealer, but I don't like it at all. This does give nice medium coverage, but it has a dewy finish. So if you have dry skin, you might really like this. But for me, I have very oily skin and oily under eyes, and this just didn't do anything for me. And I definitely could not use this on my skin because it had too much of a peachy undertone, but it did work okay color-wise under the eye. But I'm really happy to have this used up out of my collection. Definitely will not repurchase it, and I don't really recommend it either. Then I finished up the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist in set. I'm trying to work through all of my setting sprays. I'm really happy I was able to finish up a, another one. This does nothing for me at all. I don't feel like it keeps me matte. It doesn't prolong the wear of my makeup. So even though this is only three or four dollars, definitely not going to purchase it. If you are just wanting to try a setting spray for the first time, give this one a whirl. But otherwise, not impressed, don't really recommend this. The next item I finally finished up after working on this for like two years straight is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. So I cannot sharpen this any longer, but what I have been doing for the past couple weeks is taking the little Real Techniques detailer brush and scooping out some of the product to use as a brow bone highlight. I don't have any other brow bone highlights and I'm not sure if I'm gonna purchase any more. So I am actually going to continue to use this until I use up every little bit of product in there. I'm calling it done as far as a project is concerned because I can't sharpen any longer, but I will still be digging into this. It's okay. If you have dry eyelids, I recommend this as an eyeshadow base. It will really make your eyeshadow stand out, look more vibrant. This would be a great base for colorful shadows, but it does not work on my oily lids. It creases. This is a nice brow bone highlight for fair skin. If you are deeper than fair skin, it's just going to be really, really intense. This is a nice product, but I'm not going to repurchase this. The last item I finished was the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Primrose. This is completely gone. I am so excited that I was able to finish this up. I really feel very proud and accomplished whenever I finish up a lip product. I already have a backup of this that my friend Jean sent me a while ago. This is such an amazing lipstick. It is my number one lipstick. I love the Revlon Super Lustrous Cream finishes. They have really nice opaque color. They're really comfortable feeling and I love this Primrose shade. This is a very wearable blue tone pink for my skin tone. This is a dupe for Max Knob. Absolutely love this. Happy to have finished it up because this was the oldest lip product in my collection, but I'm glad I have another one. Love the formula and the color. Highly, highly recommend this. So now I'm going to show you the progress I've made on the rest of the items I have in my project. Use it up. So I've used up all of the primers I put in this project except for one. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer. Since my last update, I have found a moisturizer that makes this work better for my skin. That would be the Clean and Clear Morning burst hydrating gel and it does make this work better for my skin but I still don't love this it doesn't do anything for me I've been using this every single day and there is zero visible progress zero I'm so fed up with this I think I'm gonna throw it out I I know that's wasteful but I've had it for a while I've used up a decent amount I've been trying to work through it but 
no visible progress and I'm struggling to wear it every day. So it's just not worth it. I'm going to toss this out. Moving on to my under eye setting powders. I am still using them every single day trucking through. There is visible progress on both of them, but it's just slow going. So first we have my Midnight Cameo Powder, which is a fair powder with a pink undertone. It does a fantastic job of setting under the eye, giving a nice matte finish. It has some pretty good coverage to it. I really like this product. Product. and this line right here is where I am now so as you can see I've been making pretty steady progress over the past couple updates there's not a ton left if I can finish this by the end of the year that will be amazing I was not expecting that whatsoever I've already hit my goal I wanted to finish up half of the product from where I started this year I think I have done that already so I have reached my goal but I want to see if I can finish it up by the end of the year that would be amazing but if not I'm totally okay with it and I'll just roll it over into next year's project. My other under eye setting powder is the MAC Shaping Powder and Emphasize. I still cannot believe how long this has lasted me considering how thin the pan is and I've been using it every day. Repressed it a couple times. Still, this is trucking on. As you can see, I have a lot more pan than I did at the last update and the product I have left is very thin. I think I will probably repress this again in another week or so. I definitely think I can have this finished off by the end of the year. If not, I will just move it into next year's project and I'll be really content with that because I have been using this very consistently. I love using this as a powder to brighten under the eye. This works super well for my fair skin to help highlight. I really, really do enjoy the formula and this color and I'm happy to be using this every day and I'm slowly but surely trucking through this. Then we have the lip products. So I did not use any of these lip products a single time. I was really focusing on that Revlon lipstick. So the first product I have is my Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Sandy. This is one of my all time favorite lip glosses, the perfect peachy nude, and I love the formula. So this line is where I am now. I've been there for a hot minute. I'm definitely gonna put this in my next project, which will be my Finish Six by Christmas. This is a lip gloss I think I can get a lot of use out of in the fall, and I really am determined to have this one finished off by the end of the year. I really do think I can do it. Fingers crossed. I love this product and I cannot wait to put this in my next project. The other lip products I have in this project would be my Revlon Just Fit and Kissable Balm Stains. I have four colors, Cherish, Darling, Honey, and Crush. I absolutely love these, but they are also the next oldest lip products in my collection that I want to work through. I didn't use these a single time, unfortunately, and I am okay with that. I am definitely going to be rolling these over into my 2017 Project Use It Up and focusing on using up these lip products and probably only these. I need to get them out, but I really, really do enjoy these. My last item in my project use it up would be the Mary Kay setting spray. I have put it in the MAC Fix Plus bottle because I like the way this product disperses better. So this is where I was at the last update and this is where I am now. I made some pretty nice progress on this one. I will also be putting this in my Finish Six by Christmas challenge. I definitely am feeling confident this will be finished off by the end of the year. I'm really happy to be working through all of my setting sprays because like I mentioned a bunch of times, I do not notice any difference when I use a setting spray. Definitely not enough of a difference to justify buying them. So I'll be happy to use up one of my final setting sprays. So now moving on to my Project 50 Pan Empties. During the month of June and July, I finished up 13 items to put me at a grand total of 54. Yes. So I have hit my goal of finishing up 50 makeup products in the year of 2016. So now I'm going to try to finish up 50 makeup products, not including the items in my project. Use it up. I definitely think I can do that as well because I have quite a few months left in the year. So really happy I was able to meet my goal. My first empty isn't completely empty, but I will explain. This is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. This is my number one 
Holy Grail Concealer for blemishes. This is also great under the eye. This has super full coverage. This is the perfect shade for me, and it has a really nice satin finish. This can work for me on blemishes, under eyes, in the winter when my skin is more dry, and in the summer when my skin is at its oiliest. This is the number one must-have concealer for me. And I wasn't using this for a while because I was very fortunate and I didn't have very much acne. So this completely dried out, thickened up. I've had this on its side and it's not moving. So it's definitely time to back to MAC this. I love this concealer. I just repurchased a new one and fell in love all over again. I will still be considering this an empty because I can't use it any longer. And I did use up a ton of product that I do not want to discredit. The next thing I finished up is my NYX Day Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in the shade Ivory. The perfect shade for me, very fair with a yellow undertone. This is a fantastic powder. This and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless are my two holy grail powders that I will repurchase for the rest of my life unless I come across some miracle product that can beat these. I do not feel the need to go buy a high-end face powder because this performs so well. It does give me nice coverage and it helps keep me matte. It sets my makeup. This has a nice satin finish so I do not look too dry and cakey but I do look nice and matte absolutely love this highly highly recommend it then I finished up a couple brow products I finished two brow pencils this is the ColourPop brow pencil in the shade blondie and my NYX micro brow in the shade taupe this has been my holy grail brow pencil ever since I tried it. This is so fantastic. It has a really nice precise tip. The taupe color is a really nice cool tone that works very well for me. This draws onto brow hair and onto skin very well, very long lasting holy grail brow pencil and this was my first time trying out the color pop and i really like it the tip is a little bit larger than the nyx but it is still small enough that i can really draw on my brows very precisely so i really do enjoy that also i love the color it is super super light with a very very cool undertone when i swatch these beside each other the ColourPop brow pencil makes the NYX look like it is a warm tone. So this is super duper cool tone if you have very, very, very ashy brows, very light blonde hair. This would be perfect for you. I don't know if I like this one as much as the NYX, but it's super duper close and this is a lot more affordable than the NYX. So whenever I'm purchasing from ColourPop, if I'm about $5 away from free shipping, I'll just be adding this into my order. So I definitely do plan on purchasing this in the future. I was really, really impressed with the formula and the color is uh amazing the other brow product i finished up is the l'oreal brow stylus plumper in the shade light medium this is a tinted brow gel that has a metallic sheen to it it has a really nice precise applicator as well and at first this metallic sheen terrified me i thought i was going to have crazy metallic brows but i believe the point behind this is that because the brow gel is a little bit metallic it is really going to emphasize your brow hairs to help make your brows look a little more natural and not so painted on i definitely do think that effect really works and this does hold my brows in place really well i remember mentioning this in a favorites last summer and i really really enjoyed this and i had also been using the nyx tinted brow mascara and blonde which i loved as well i really felt like i liked both of these equally until i ran out of the nyx and i started using this on a daily basis this is nice but the NYX works way, way, way better for me. So I'm not going to be repurchasing this because I like the NYX color better for me. But this is a great formula. You get a ton of products. So I would recommend this, but I'm not going to be repurchasing this. Next, I finish up an eyeshadow. This is the Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Brulee. I use up about one a year. This is such an amazing, amazing product. The formulation of this shadow is incredible. I wish Wet n Wild would come out with a million different shades of this matte formula amazing so i really love this it's really pigmented and creamy without being too powdery this is the most perfect cream shade for my skin tone it matches me perfectly i do like to use this as a brow bone highlight and i've more recently been using this to set my eyeshadow primer to create an even base for my shadows to go on top of and i've really been enjoying that and i've continued to do it every day so i have already repurchased this this eyeshadow will always be in my life if wet n wild ever dares to discontinue this i will buy 25 backups like not even kidding this is 99 cents of 
amazingness. Next, I finished up a liquid liner. You guys know that the Maybelline Line Slow Liquid Liner used to be holy grail status. I started using that in high school before I knew anything about makeup, and it has still been my favorite liner. Well, over the past year or two, Maybelline changed the formula, and it's complete crap. So I've been trying out a bunch of liquid liners to find the best one for me, and out of all the ones I've tried, which has probably been five or six, this one is my favorite. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. I have the shade Ultra Black, and this is a brush tip instead of a felt tip, and I'm used to using felt tips, but I had no trouble with this. This worked really, really well, and the bristles stayed together perfectly. This did create a really nice line and wing. This was a really nice black color. The only negative about this liner is the price. Because it's Physician's Formula, this is pretty expensive for a drugstore liner. I am going to repurchase this though. I'm just going to keep an eye out for 40% off Physicians Formula sales or buy one get one free Physicians Formula sales which do come around relatively often at the drugstore so definitely will repurchase this and I do highly highly recommend it. It is my new favorite liquid liner. Then I finished up two deluxe sample size high-end mascaras. The first is the NARS Audacious Mascara. I haven't heard a ton about this and what I have heard has not been good. So this is what the brush looks like. It's similar to the Benefit They're Real except the bristles are a little bit longer and if you are someone that is prone to poking your eye with a mascara wand, don't get this one. You will definitely poke your eye. So this is a good mix between wet and dry, leaning more towards the wet side. As you can see, it does have plastic bristle wand. This did give me a little bit of length and a little bit of separation, but nothing to write home about. I definitely am not impressed by this. I would not recommend it and not repurchase it. I do have a lot of drugstore mascaras that I prefer over this one. My favorite drugstore mascara for length is the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eyes, which performs way better than this one. The other mascara I used up is the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara, which is my sister's favorite mascara ever, and I was so excited to get a sample because I've always heard rave reviews about the Lancome mascaras but they are very very expensive. So like I said this is the Hypnos Drama. It has a little bit of a curved brush to it. This is more of a wet formula but not overly wet and as you can see it is a natural bristle brush. I love the wand of this mascara so much. The bristles really help to grab onto the lashes, really help to thicken them up, makes them really black. I would absolutely contemplate buying this in the full size if I can get it on sale. I was highly, highly impressed and this has now made it to my list of my top five high-end mascaras. The last thing I finished up was this little deluxe sample size of the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm in the Shea Butter Scent. I really, really do enjoy this. I loved using this in the morning and at night. This is not one I feel the need to reapply a lot throughout the day and with this texture, it's a little bit thicker and I don't like reapplying it so much, but it definitely is a very moisturizing and I would contemplate buying this in the full size probably the mint scent so guys, that was my Project Use It Up 2016 slash Project 50 Pan update. If you guys are doing this as well, I would love to know how you all are doing. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.